looking for that. Yeah, I think a lot of <laughs> folks will. The question is, we've got some high clouds out there, right? So you don't want any clouds to obscure the view at all. So maybe it finds a little slither of clearing there to sneak its way through. I say high clouds because it's been a beautiful day, right? We probably didn't even pay attention to any of those clouds that were drifting out overhead because there's so much sunshine around. Well, good news. It's coming back again tomorrow. We've got ourselves another sunny Tuesday to deal with and better news. It's staying warm pretty much all week. While it may not be as warm as it is the next two days, hey, it finally feels like real spring has sprung for us. Unfortunately, rain chances will return, especially come midweek. So here's a look at the threat for rain as we work our way through the week. You don't have to worry about it tonight or tomorrow. There's a low end threat for some rain on Wednesday, although I really believe the greatest chances for rain hold off till the second half of the week. I'm talking Thursday, Friday, and unfortunately, if we were to extend this out, even into the upcoming weekend, rain chances will be around. I actually think they're pretty high. Now, here's the good news. No one day looks like a total washout, but this is your heads up. If you've got any outdoor plans for the second half of the week, just know that there will likely be some interruptions due to wet weather. Now this evening, no interruptions weather wise at all. In fact, if you can see the ISS through those high clouds, it should be a beautiful evening for viewing out there. Temperatures will stay around 70 through 8 o'clock, and then as the sun goes down, we'll gradually see them slip down probably into the upper 40s right before the sun comes up first thing tomorrow morning. So here we are with April sunshine, a nice southwest wind, high pressure in charge, beautiful afternoon, and high pressure will return tomorrow. It's deflecting this area of rain you see up across northern Ohio, and here's some of the cloud cover. You can kind of see it spilling across the Ohio Valley that could potentially impact the viewing of the space station just a little bit this evening. Otherwise, though, they're high clouds, right? So it's a beautiful afternoon. We're still in the mid 70s now. We're at 74 degrees. We've got a nice light southwesterly breeze. Temperatures 77 in Hamilton and Harrison, 74 in Brookville. For sales coming in at 75, you are well into the 70s as well across much of the bluegrass, too. You can see there in Maysville, we're coming in at 75, 76 currently in Alexandria. So future cast shows you some of those high clouds drifting through this evening, but otherwise very little change in the sensible weather. In fact, tomorrow even warmer, most likely. I wouldn't be surprised some of you see an 80 on your car dial tomorrow and it's official. We could get to 80 before the week is out. Now on Wednesday, notice most of the day is dry. However, there you are. You see this beginning to show up now. I do think the chance will be there for a few late afternoon and evening downpours, maybe even a storm or two on Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening. So yes, rain chances start initially on Wednesday and then only go up from there through the end of the week. Comfortable tonight, 48 for an overnight low. Tomorrow, sunny, warmer, 78 for your afternoon high. There's a look at your day planner. Starting out again around 50 in the morning and should be another fantastic Tuesday. Your seven day forecast shaping up like this here. There's your introductory rain chances on Wednesday. And then as those rain chances go up, those temperatures come down some, not cold, but just cooling off a little bit, backing off away from that 80 degree mark as we head towards the weekend. All right, well, we're loving the sunshine today, Kevin. Thank you. Coming up, the Reds bounce back from.